All right, so the first thing we wanna do is make sure we have the MyQ app installed on our phone. And then you want to follow the steps to create a login profile so that we can go ahead and add our device. So we're going to be setting up the MyQ Smart Garage Hub and the Smart Garage Control. From there, it's going to take you to a list of items that you wanna make sure you have access to so that you can complete the setup process. Once you confirm those items, it's going to ask you to go ahead and go into your garage and plug the hub into your desired outlet. So once you do that, you should get a blinking blue light. So then we'll go back into the app and we'll hit next. If all goes well, the app should discover your device. You want to go ahead and pair the device to your phone using Bluetooth. From there, it's going to have you connect to your home's Wi-Fi network. So you want to make sure you have your password available. After the device connects to your Wi-Fi, you want to go ahead and grab the door sensor and remove the plastic tab, which is going to activate the battery. After that, we're going to press the button on the front of the door sensor. And when you do that, you should see a red light. The next step is to connect the door sensor to the control hub. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And then we'll press the button on the front of the door sensor one more time. So from there, you want to grab the 3M adhesive strips, which are located inside of the bag with the anchors and screws. So we're going to use these strips to attach the door sensor towards the top of our garage door. It's a good idea to go ahead and clean the area where you plan to attach it. Once you attach the strips to the back of the door sensor, you can go ahead and attach it to the garage. They recommend holding it in place for about 30 seconds. After that, we're going to connect our control hub to our actual garage door opener. This step is going to cause the garage door to actually move. So you want to make sure there's no people or objects in the way. It's going to have you select the brand of your garage door opener. And as you can see, it has a pretty long list. My particular garage door opener is a Chamberlain. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. After that, you want to locate the program button, which is usually found on the back of your garage door opener. Once you found it, you want to select the color of the program button. Mine is yellow, but yours could be a different color depending on what type of opener you have. After that, it shows me a picture of what appears to be the exact model of my garage door opener. After that, you wanna go ahead and press the program button and the control hub will attempt to connect to the opener. If it's successful, it will automatically open the garage. So once everything is paired up, you can go ahead and choose a name for your garage door. And this is also where you can set up another door sensor if you purchased more than one. If you don't set up a second door sensor now, you do have the option to set one up later. So from there, it's time to grab the anchors and the screws so that we can install the mounting plate. If you're going to be installing it directly onto drywall, you will want to use the anchors. Otherwise, if you're going to install it directly onto wood or a stud, you can simply just use the screws. When you install the mounting plate, you want to make sure it's facing the correct way. So they do recommend installing the control hub at least six feet off the ground. So to make my life easier, I decided to install it directly onto the wood framing up towards my ceiling. And the control hub attaches to the mounting plate pretty much how you would attach a smoke detector. And then from there, you're basically good to go. So now you're able to use your phone to open and close your garage literally from anywhere as long as you have a connection or a signal. The app will tell you if the garage is open or if it's closed, and it'll even tell you how long it's been open or closed. So this is really helpful if you're that person that frequently forgets to close your garage. And then whenever you use the app to close your garage, it'll beep for a few seconds, just as a warning in case anybody happens to be in the way. 
The app also has a few other useful features like Amazon and garage delivery. So if you're afraid of your Amazon packages getting stolen from your porch, you have the option to get them delivered directly in your garage. You can also set up notifications so that you get an alert each time your garage is opened or closed. And again, if you're that person that often forgets to close the garage, you can also set a schedule so that the garage will close on certain days at certain times. And then you can even give other people access to open and close the garage for a designated amount of time. So this is great for things like having family in town. Uh, you can give them access within the app for a certain number of days. And this way you don't have to share your passwords or give out any physical keys to your home. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful.